Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Nikki and here I just talk about all things nail polish. So if you're liking the vibe and the content, I'd love a subscribe and a comment to say hi if you're in the mood. In today's video, I have a swatch and review for you from a new to me brand. This is Moonshine Manny and if you guys don't know, Moonshine Manny is an indie brand by the YouTuber here on, on YouTube, Phoebe Moon. I'm sure you guys uh, know about her, but if you don't, I will link her channel down in the description box below. So these were actually gifted to me by my friend Anna on Instagram. She is such a sweet and lovely soul and she was so kind to um, offer to gift me some polishes for Black Friday. So I have three Krellies, two shimmers, and one topper to share with you guys. And I believe on Black Friday when you ordered a certain amount, you got their quick their quick dry uh, top coat called Rosetta. Everything that's available out of these polishes, I will link down in the description box below. I think some of them were um, some doorbuster deals or special Black Friday deals, so a couple of them aren't available or they just sold out. But yes, let's just get into these swatches. So the first polish I have here is called Winter Cheer. This, it reminds me of the perfect large gray cable knit sweater absolutely beautiful i don't have any crellies like this in my collection most of the crellies i have usually have a white base so i'm happy that this one um i'm switching it up <laughs> so i love the glitter mix in here really really wintry and fun you know we have uh the blue the orange the white and there's also a bit of star glitters in here but not too many it's pretty sparse but so on the second coat here, uh, it is at full coverage, but I have a rule with Krellies that I love to do with third coats because I just absolutely love the squishy look of them. Super cute, and uh, I'm loving this one for the winter time and even has a transition to spring. So that was winter cheer, three coats. Next polish up is one that I definitely not would have picked out on my own, but Anna surprised me with some, and that the last one was one, and this is the second one. This is called Honors Banana Sunday, and I'm actually really glad she picked this up because this is not a finish that I would have gravitated towards, and that's what I'm trying to do pick finishes I haven't tried. So I'm absolutely loving the glitter mix in this one. I love the mauve. Um, glitters in there along with the micro uh scopic uh no oh, they're not microscopic but uh micro blue gl blue the micro gleam glitters in there so really pretty this is not one that i loved on my skin tone but i absolutely love the glitter mix i think it would look really really nice and maybe um a white curly base or maybe even a blue one maybe gray actually gray would also look really nice but this is one that I'm happy to say is different and that um, is added to my collection. So that is Honors Banana Sunday. Third polish up is my second favorite out of the bunch. This is Mint Diamond Dream. This is the perfect spring crelly. It has um, a lot of blue and green shimmer along with those blue flakies really pretty and it also has uh, kind of these white silverish like bar glitter flakies in there they're really really small like not like full block bar glitters or anything but this one i think is just the, an, a perfect winter to spring transition curly as well it's really pretty and the coverage on this was wonderful so this is definitely my second favorite out of the bunch and also this also reminds me of another polish that i wanted to get out of the for the love of polish box is the same one that came um in polish today showstopper which is one that i had duped as one of my polishes but this re resembles the rogue lacquer one in that box so really nice that i uh, have it in my collection now so that was mint diamond dream fourth one up here is my favorite out of the bunch this is spring roll this is a beautiful jade green shimmer uh, the shimmer in there ranges from orange to blue but you can mostly see uh, a lot of the blue in there this looks beautiful the blue shimmer in there reminds me of pool water so with shimmers i do the same thing as crellies i usually do three coats because i want it more pronounced or depending how much my nail line is showing i could have got away with two coats but in my swatch picture i did um put three because that blue shimmer in there is beautiful you can see it on a lot of angles in the bottle too um 
as well as on your nails too but I think you kind of have to be more in the light on your nails but this one is absolutely beautiful and the perfect spring crelly so that was spring roll Fifth one up is one that I've won in my collection for a while now. This is The Boy Who Lived. This was a polish based off of Harry Potter. The shimmer in there, you guys. The gold, the green, the teal. It's gorgeous. This, on the first coat, this does come out really inky. Very, very inky blue. And I love polishes like that. Because then you can just build them up. So, I am going to build this up in three coats here really beautiful i absolutely love the shimmer in here it's very prominent and very eye-catching when i first went on moonshine manny's um website this is the first one that i had my eye on i think it's very very beautiful and unique to my collection so that is the boy who lived 2.0 um uh, maybe she made a first version of this uh hence the 2.0 i'm not sure i've never seen it or know if it's existence but um maybe this is a second version but either way it is really beautiful and the last one i have for you guys today is a gorgeous topper this is called i've made a promise when i saw this on the website i was immediately drawn by these huge flakies you guys like that is absolutely beautiful and when i swatched this on my swatch stick the first thing that came out came out was one of those flakes and I was so excited. I was like, yes, the topper that, you know, comes out on the brush as it looks on the bottle. I love that. That doesn't always happen with all toppers, but uh, with this one, I didn't expect the flakes to come out that much, but I did put this over the boy who lived 2.0 because it was the last polish that I swatched, <laughs> to be honest. And uh, I really think this is beautiful. I don't know if I'd build this. I would build this up in three coats, actually. Why not? But I think I would put it over different uh, creams or maybe even some hollows to get some really, really nice effects here because there's just so much going on with this topper here. So I am so excited to have another edition of a topper to my collection. It's beautiful. So that was I have made a promise over the boy who lived 2.0 right guys that was it for this video i feel like this was the perfect perfect winter to spring transitional palette you know i would have gone with um well first actually i would have gone with uh the boy who lived 2.0 and then um winter cheer so i need to or wear this in orders if i was wearing them for a transitional rack i should mention then we're gonna go with just a happy medium honors banana sunday which was one i'm happy to have in my collection but it's not one that look great with my skin tone but it is really unique definitely falls into the pretty ugly realm next i would wear a mint diamond dream because that's just the perfect spring crelly and just so transitional this one is definitely one of my favorites and then we're dead on in spring, spring roll. Really, really gorgeous jade green shimmer with a orange, orange, I keep saying orange, I mean to say yellow. Yellow shimmer with blue, and the blue reminds me of pool water. This could definitely be a mermaid polish as well. It's gorgeous. So that was spring roll. And then the, this beautiful, gorgeous topper, I made a promise. I'm so happy that this is in my collection and I can't wait to experiment with these, this with you guys and, you know, share my experience with you. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know what you thought about any of these polishes. Let me know if you have any of these in your collection and if you um, are looking to try Moonshine Manny as well for this year. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.